going on guys? Your boy Joey Shake 72 coming to you guys with a video right now. Um, so there's a lot of speculation, a lot of news right now. No, no, don't know what's happening yet, but you know, the Eagles are reportedly trying to restructure Vinny Curry's contract for him to stay in Philly. And um, you know, um there was either gonna be a release or a cut, and and I don't know um, you know, what was gonna happen, but you know, we you know, Howie Roseman wants to keep this D-line intact this year. Um, and you know, Vinny Curry's got 11 point something million, 11 million, about 11 million dollar cap hit next year. Uh, you know, there's a lot of players that are going to need some restructures this year. Um, that's probably where it's going to count the most because we can't be just cutting everybody. But at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you know, with P. Rob, most likely probably not going to be here. You know, and uh, everything else going on with this team, which is practically fucking nothing because the Eagles free agency is always quiet as hell every year. Um, you know, Vinny Curry has been a, a product of this defensive line, but not as like um, a product as in, you know, he needed help from everybody else. You know what I mean? He puts in his own work. Um, and he's put in his work over the past few years. You know what I mean? 2014, he only had 25% of the snaps. You know what I mean? He had 13, I think he had 12 and a half, 13 sacks um, that year. You know, on, on top of Connor Barron's 14. Um, you know what I mean? So there's a, uh, there's a lot, you know, he has a lot of, uh, you know, he does a lot for this team. He really does. Uh, I really appreciate everything he's done. Um, and I, I, I never want, you know, we don't want any, uh, any of these players to go anywhere. But with Vinny Curry, you know, it comes to, you know, Derek Barnett is on the rise. And that's why we drafted Derek Barnett. And I said to myself, this is why we drafted Derek Barnett, just in case if this cap hit would have been too much for us. I mean, they drafted him because he's a good player. But it definitely comes into the whole, when Vinny Curry leaves, Michael, uh, Derek Michael. I said Michael Barnett. Derek Barnett. Is going to come in and be the starter for this team. At least for the DN spot. So there's a lot that really goes into it. So it's either the Eagles will release them, you know, or they restructure them. Um, or trade them. There's a few options they could do. Um, but most likely, um, I think a restructure is possible. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, cap figure hits next year. Next year, Malcolm Jenkins has a $10 million cap hit. Jason Peters, $10 million cap hit. You know, there's a lot. There should be at least a few restructures this year um, that could that could help. So, then, you know, they'll get more money later on than they will now. Um, so, they could save up, a, uh, you know, a good amount of cap right now, restructuring a few people on top of trying to trade at the same time. Um, and actually may do some damage against the cap and be a little bit under it, um, as we well should be. You know, um... Ian Rappaport, you know, first Ian Rappaport said that, you know, Vinnie Curry was going to be dealt with. There are teams interested in Vinnie Curry of his services. Um, so then I think like an hour later, it kind of changed into a whole, um, you know, restructure. They're going to try to retain him and keep him. Um, but if they can't work out this restructure, um, they will trade Vinnie Curry. And there are teams that are interested uh, and he takes, um, he's getting high value, um, and I didn't think, you know, I knew, you know, for a pass rusher in this league, you know, a lot of teams will go after good pass rushers, um, you know, especially at the end uh, to get the edge. Um, so we'll see what happens by that time. But, um, you know, uh, hopefully the restructure can help and hopefully they can keep them on this team and keep this D-line intact together for the next few years. Um, so, you know, Vinny Curry, you know, it's – I don't blame this, this team trying to restructure uh, Vinny Curry. I didn't really – I didn't really expect a restructure, um, but nothing's official yet. So I mean, everything is kind of up in the air right now. They are, you know, the Eagles are trying to restructure, um, but nothing's promising. Nothing's promised. Um, you know, what I mean, he's making way too much money. He's getting more money than Brandon Graham, which is kind of crazy because Brandon Graham deserves that money that Vinnie Curry's getting. Okay, especially now that he literally won the Eagles a damn Super Bowl with that strip. On Tom Brady so there's a lot that comes to effect especially Brandon Graham's contract as well and Vinny Curry should not be making more than Brandon Graham hell no not right now he shouldn't hell no um, you know even though this defensive line has at least had individually has over 20 hurries each player has over 20 hurries and that's really good uh, most uh, QB pressures in the league and uh, if you put that on top of good, you know, 
mid-tier to top good corners, you can do some damage with this defense a lot more than last year. So we're going to see if Patrick Robinson stays in the loop. We're going to see if Vinny Curry can get restructured and stay on this team because, hey, I have no problem with Vinny Curry staying here. I really don't. You know what I mean? I think he has trade value. Um, you know, but at the same time, um, if they can get a nice restructure out of him and save some money, good for them. And we'll see what happens. So uh, that's really all I got to say, guys, about Vinny Curry. But um, what do you guys think about Bernie Vinny Curry restructure? Do you think we should trade him? Do you think the, the restructure will happen? Let me know in the comment section below. So I will see you guys later. Fly Eagles fly. Shakes what up. Peace. Fuck a bitch, get a bag from it, then I never call it.